guys, Craig from Fix It Fellows, and I am in the kitchen. Now, I've put out quite a few videos now in this uh, short period of time. I think it's been a year. And um, whilst doing these videos, I've done it all off of a mobile phone. That's the visual and the audio. Now, I have had comments, and they're definitely warranted, that at times the audio quality of my videos has left a bit to be desired. Um, I've done my best, um, but it can could be better. So, no expense has been spared. I have bought myself a microphone, a Bluetooth microphone to Bluetooth to that phone, so that hopefully you can hear me better in future videos. Now I say no expense has been spared. I spent seventeen pounds. Let's see what I've got for my money. It's in this package, not opened yet. So here we go. Good old Amazon. So here we are. Let's put that stuff to the side. Surprisingly, it comes in quite a well-packaged box. Um, does it have a brand name? Um, not really. It says it's for Type C connections, which is good. Right, let's slide this open, shall we? Sealed. Well, can I even get into the box? There we go, slide that off. There we are, we are presented with one little bit there that goes into the bottom of the phone. And then the microphone itself. So, has a clip on the back. We have no doubt we'll probably have oh, there we are, a little instruction manual and probably a cable. There we go, charging cable to charge up both of these devices. So, so first things first, I better charge this up and get some life in it. Okay, so I'll put these both on charge, and stupid me, it turns out that the receiver doesn't need to be charged. That's because it plugs into the USB-C port on the bottom of your phone and providing your phone is compatible, it should power this unit. So there's no need to charge this. So that just leaves charging the microphone, which I have done a bit anyway. So I've also read the comprehensive instructions, like all good men do, Let's have a little look at these in closer detail, shall we? Okay, so here we are. There's the receiver unit. Let's peel off a little cover. Oh, that's always so satisfying doing that, isn't it? There we go. There's the microphone. Peel that off. Protective cover. Okay. Now, according to the instructions, we take this little tra uh, receiver unit and we plug it into the USB-C port on the bottom of our phones. Now this is a OnePlus Nord. It currently is running Android 11 just so that you know what software I'm running. So if we plug that into the bottom, there it goes. And now we press the button here on the microphone. Hmm. Turns out that that's not the button. The button is actually there. The one with the universal power symbol on it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm an idiot. Right, let's press that button, shall we? Okay, well we've got a green light. Now according to the instructions, a green light means, let's have a look shall we? A green light stays on, it means it has paired with the receiver. So, I now have 
my video app open on the phone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press record, like so. I'm going to leave the phone there and I'm going to wander to the other side of the kitchen and whisper into this microphone and see whether this recording picks me up. So here goes. So, if I stop the recording and I open that back up and press play, so I'm going to wander to the other side of the kitchen and whisper into this microphone and see whether this recording picks me up. So, here goes. stop the recording right yeah let's stop that recording because clearly that didn't work hmm what's going on there okay so a little bit more delving and I cannot get this microphone to work on this phone turns out that Android in its stock uh, release will not let you use external mics on the device now you can route your phone and get around it that way but you know who wants to route their phone really if they don't really have to now i've done a little bit of googling and there's a guy who's put a video out on youtube that says you can download an app that will enable you to select which source external audio comes from so i'm going to try that so i'm going to go to play store i'm going to try an app he suggested which i think was called open camera Download that and see what happens. I'll come back to you. Okay, right, so we have had some success. I have gone into Play Store and I have found Open Camera and I've installed it. So let's open up Open Camera, like so. And lo and behold, inside settings on Open Camera, if you go to settings, video settings and where is it audio source press audio source and it gives you the option let me zoom in to select from there so I selected external mic and lo and behold the microphone now works let me show you an example Okay, so here I am at the garden. As far as I know, I'm using this microphone. I'm not talking particularly loud, I'm just talking normally. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down the garden. Our garden is about 80, 88 foot long. And we'll get an indication of how far this Bluetooth connection works. So if you don't mind, you'll probably see the back of my head, but we'll keep going. I'm just going to keep walking now. Just going to step onto the path because the lawn is very wet. We was quite frosty overnight and it was foggy this morning so the lawn has stayed very wet so I don't want to walk down there it reminds me I must trim that bush back so anyway here we go we keep on walking go around the rockery um, I assume I'm still in shot and here we go all the way down here over to my left there's a project for later in the year when the weather gets a bit better so here I am at the bottom of the garden at this point, I have no idea whether you can still hear me, but fingers crossed, it works. And it gives you an idea of how well this thing um, transmits over a bit of distance. Um, I'm not sure whether you'll want to do filming from any further than that. I know I probably won't, but let's have a look. So there you are. I think that video of me in the garden was quite conclusive. I think it performed admirably well. It will be more than sufficient for, for my requirements. One thing I would just point out is that you probably heard it. There was a slight rattle coming from the unit and I can do it here. And what it turns out, it's the power button there. The power button is a plastic molding, which when you press it, it must push onto a little switch on the uh, PCB. And that molding just rattles around there inside the housing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of electrical tape like that place it over like so 
and there you are the rattle has stopped um you know what do you expect for 17 pounds you know so as i say this was purchased on amazon uh, it was listed multiple times from many different uh, retailers on there. It ranged from £17 to about £35, but from what I can tell, they were all the same. So, you know, you pay whatever you feel comfortable paying. I shall provide a link for you in the description below. And um, be sure to look out for my upcoming videos where I'll be using this little fella. And let me know whether you think the audio quality has improved. So once again, as ever, thank you very much for sparing the time to watch my video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get notified of any further videos. And check out some of the stuff I've already done. Thank you very much. I'll see you again real soon. Cheers.